Welcome, my name is Prue or Prue LaRue and today I am so excited because I have the Divina Angelica Nyquist collection. This is called Moonwell. It's inspired by World of Warcraft, which is a game that Angelica loves playing. And oh my god, look that up on the camera. Oh, I love. It's so much fun. Anyway, it's such a beautiful range of colours and I bought it as soon as it came out. I was so excited and it was it sold out like the first day so it's just really cool I think it is being restocked so it is being restocked on the 22nd of September for Australians that's the 23rd and I thought I thought it would be fun to sit down today with you and dig into like a sort of first look so I am working on my eyeshadow primer video we are uh, I've done five days of primers today and I bought a new another primer because it's been the Sephora sale here. So I've actually got the Fenty Beauty primer. So I'm gonna put this on today. Alright, it's a screw top. Oh yeah, alright. I was thinking it was a pump for a second. Anyway, so this is the Fenty primer. I'm excited to try this. I don't know if I'll use this video for testing out the Fenty primer or if I will do it as I'm doing all the other shadows. We'll see how the look progresses. And sort of what happens, I guess. But I feel like it would be unfair if one look is different from all the others. I somehow got way more primer on the other side. Alright, I'm excited to dive into these shadows today. I'm first off going to be using... I believe it's Tercent. Now Tercenta is actually a shade that I already had. I do have... A little collection of Davina singles that I already had. I actually owned two shadows that Angelica picked out in this collection so I'm so excited to see them in here and it means that one of my friends who loves YouTube videos as much as me I gave her my doubles to play with and she can try out Davina shadows without paying the shipping which is always a pleasant thing when you're Australian. When I bought these, I actually bought another two singles to replace those two that are already in my collection. And I didn't read the thing correctly and I accidentally bought one of the highlighters. So it doesn't fit. So I need to make another Davina order. So I don't know what I'm going to, what will be next. But I just need one more Davina single that I don't own. So maybe I'll start, I don't know. I'll find a way to get it. And so this collection is actually inspired by World of Warcraft, which is a game that Angelica plays and I have never played. I'm not much of a gamer at all. And oh, do you want to come in? I guess you might as well come in a little bit. I've never been very good at playing computer games or any kind of computer games. Like I'm only good at uh, like OG Super Mario from the Super Nintendo and I've actually got a Super Nintendo and Kirby's All-Star Adventures. But outside of those games, I don't think I have any computer talent to play games. I think it's like a real skill. I don't know. I have tried, but I just I can't do it. Let me know if you're a bit of a gamer. I'd love to know. Anyway, so my boyfriend, however, or fiance, is a bit of a gamer. And he's the one I always ask computer questions about. And I was asking him if he knew what Moonwell was in Game of Thrones, World of Warcraft. But he actually said that he refused to play World of Warcraft because one of his friends got so addicted to playing, playing it, he ended up losing a year of his life because he spent a year in game just playing World of Warcraft because it's just so addictive. And I know people can definitely have healthy relationships with it, but we always do hear the horror stories of Game of Thrones, okay, of World of Warcraft and computer games. So I think it's really admirable that someone like Angelica can hold up her YouTube channel, work full time plus game. And I'm just really, I don't know, I keep getting stuck on brushes lately. This is my Chikahodo HCN10, a natural hair brush I think. But I'm now gonna go into Desma. And 
And then going into Meraki. Same brush, cleaned it off. And what do you think about computer games and computer games addiction? If that's like your forte. Um, I don't know. I, I think I definitely have a bit of an addictive personality. So I think it's probably best I stay away from games that could be that level of addiction. And I do remember like many moons ago, uh, dating a guy who played World of Warcraft. I remember it being so annoying when they had like the raid raids when they had organized raids with their guild. See, I, I know like some wow words and like they just that was it that was like their plans for Friday night um and so yeah and then I was thinking I really want to put chimerical 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 on my lid because it looks stunning wow there's a bit of fall out, but these are handmade shadows and I have had a lot of kick up already just as we've been going. So I guess I should really spritz this. But I'm so excited for Angelica that she had this collab with Davina. It's one of those collabs that really just makes sense because if you have watched her channel for any time, any amount of time, you've seen her mention Davina Cosmetics. Like I would dare to say that's the only reason that I ever ordered from them. Uh, because I knew that Angelica really loved them as a brand and I was curious to give them a try. And they do run some really wicked sales sometimes. Let's we'll see if we can get rid of that fallout without smearing. Magic! Then in the in the corner, I'm going to go in with Delirium. And just put this up here. Oh. oh. Sorry, it is just so beautiful. All right, I went like a bit too far with the, on this side, let's see what I can do to try and fix that up. Powder puff to the rescue, kind of. Then going in underneath the eye, I feel like, oh, oh, farmer, yeah. And I'm just gonna put this underneath my eye. I'm not sure I feel like just having that green underneath there. I feel like maybe I'm going to put some farmer just like up here. I don't know how it's going to go. But just so it makes like a little bit more sense. Maybe. Okay, it's here. I'm going to go back in with that shimmer and just so you can see where it's already sort of crept up a little bit. I'm just going to pat that in. But this, oh my god, this shimmer is not joking around. And that's why I love, like, this kind of collab where you are seeing colours from someone who loves the brand, knows what shades are really lovely to use, and has such a great eye for colour like Angelica does. Colourpop's piggy bank on the waterline. For mascara, then I have a bad girl bag. Alright, and I completely forgot that I can do liner, so let's put some of that on. And I completely forgot I moved it. So I'm going to use the Fenty Fly Liner. I think I'll at least do like maybe a mini wing. this wing and then I ruined this one <sighs> oh yeah it's kind of even all right I'm not gonna play games with that anymore let me just dry off and here is my angelic and I quest moonwell look here it is all together I'm in a very green mood today I just realized that my top is green and yeah I'm so excited for Angelica that this collab exists that it happened it's beautiful I really think you should think about picking it up if you're interested in it uh Davina 
eyeshadows. I have a first impression with the collection that I bought previously. If you're interested in hearing my thoughts on them, but essentially they're handmade eyeshadows, so they're a bit looser. They're going to be more in pigmented and they are going to have a bit of fallout, but you're going to be able to create beautiful looks with them. So highly recommend. And I love this empty palette. It's just beautiful. I love having something like this. And it also came with the cutest note from Angelica in it. Was adorable. I don't know. You know when you just sort of like stand someone a little bit on the YouTubes and you support a collaboration that you actually really love and get to play with it and it's right up your alley. That's just how I feel about this. I'm so excited for this collab. I'm so excited for this collection and I love the look I created. I think it's a beautiful choice of colors to use. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed my first impressions today. If you're interested, I will try and get like multiple looks up with this palette because there is really quite, you can really have quite a lot of fun with it. But I do have a lot of other palettes to play with as well that I'm going to try and get my opinion sorted on. Anyway, thank you so much for stopping by today and watching. I absolutely appreciate and adore you. If you're new here, I'd love it if you would consider subscribing or at least checking out some of my other videos and see if I'm your jam. <laughs> love you. Mwah.